Do you have any direct evidence, though, that this, I mean, we're talking about the same government that so appropriately named a, a snooper program carnivore. So just because it's named the alien reproduction vehicle, considering the history and, and the, the questions that have been existing for such a long time about flying saucers, I mean, do you know, is there any direct reason to believe that this is actually derived from technology? Any of the witnesses who can attest to that? And, and how would this, uh, a propulsion system, a rocket engine doesn't necessarily translate into electricity. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, well, the first part of your question, I would say that the, the, the testimony of, of witnesses we have, some of whom are here, others that are not here, but they're in the briefing materials, is that they have studied, we have studied specifically extraterrestrial vehicles which have been retrieved. The breakthroughs in that research have led to applications that have led to the building of this and similar anti-gravity uh, devices. And that, uh, in fact, uh, this can be proven in open testimony before Congress and that is exactly what we are calling for. We have the witnesses to establish this, and they also then also have the documents and the specific uh, uh, details of the propulsion systems. But this is not a jet internal combustion system at all. It is actually kicked in by a type of electric power source, and it then accesses this ambient zero-point energy field that is uh, responsible for all matter and energy existing and uh, by special configurations and, and what have you it causes a, a, a cancellation of mass inertia and an anti-gravity effect and uh, this is a complex technical discussion which is probably beyond the scope of this conference but we have materials in the briefing uh, document that we can provide you with references uh, to people who have studied the anti-gravity effect uh, as far back as certainly the 1950s, uh, we have one witness who said uh, that uh, his family was connected to the Rand Corporation and uh, that uh, by the uh, mid-1950s that more money had been spent on anti-gravity propulsion systems than the totality of the Manhattan Project. So, uh, yes, we can establish those elements. Uh, other questions?